Welcome to the Klamath County Museum. This building is an example of the Art Deco classical modern style. Uh, it was originally the Klamath County Armory and Auditorium. The Armory was built through a partnership between the City of Klamath Falls, Klamath County, the State of Oregon, and a grant from the Public Works Administration. The Oregon National Guard's 249th Coast Artillery was formed in 1927, meeting and training in a location that didn't really meet their needs. The city and county wanted the Guard unit to have an armory that they deserved, and after arranging for the financing and construction, the armory was completed and dedicated on November 11th, 1935. The Armory has a long history as a concert venue, a dance hall, but it's also served as a sports arena, a meeting place, a general event center, and it's even hosted a circus. The Armory was rededicated in 1969 as the Klamath County Museum. Several adaptations were made so that the Armory could actually function as a museum. Fortunately, most of those adaptations were done so that they could be reversed in the future as needed. We're going to cover three of these in this video. The first adaptation we'll talk about is the west stairwell from the lobby to the second floor. In 1970, it was covered to limit access to the upstairs area. Most of the upstairs space has been set aside as archival space and is still used that way today. Essentially, what was a closet was extended and moved out in front of the stairs. Fortunately, all that was removed was the archway trim around the access point and the bottom two steps of the stairs. So it wouldn't be too difficult to restore this at some point as needed. The second adaptation I'd like to talk about is the uh, northeast corner entrance to the building. The entry is still used today, mostly for small events, things like the Klamath County Historical Society meetings, things like that. Unlike the southwest entrance, which was completely bricked up, I'm not going to go into detail on that. Adapting this entry, the north east entry was for wheelchair access. A concrete ramp was installed. The main entry on the south facade is at ground level so there's no issue at the main entry but this is the back entry and so it needed some sort of accommodation. Um, this would be something that would be much more difficult to remove at some point in the future. However, it's very unlikely that it would be remo removed because it does provide additional access to the building. The third thing I'd like to talk about is an addition also to the north side of the building or what we consider the back of the building. Unlike the other modifications, this is entirely an additional space and it's not space that's actually for the museum's use. In the 1970s, gas and oil prices were shooting through the roof, and there were shortages happening all the time. In a small town with much of its downtown built between 1920 and 1940, it was pretty common to find oil, heating oil, used for heating the structures. As costs were rising from gas and oil prices, heating a building like the Armory became a really expensive proposition. So expensive, in fact, it actually threatened the building's existence. Fortunately, a deal between the county and city was struck, and in 1975, geothermal heating was installed. Now, the big structure in the back is actually a city-operated re-injection well and control station that was built for the entire area, not just for the museum. The addition was constructed in a way that it blends in with the building for the most part. It uses a monotone, monochromatic um, brick, so it's a little bit different. It can obviously be seen as an add-on, but it meets the basic style elements, including some of the trim work. Now, the switch to geothermal heating 
and the location of the reinjection well have been credited as actually saving the armory. And in fact, it's very likely that if the museum had not switched to geothermal heating, that the building would have been demolished in the early 1980s. Now let's briefly talk about restoration. There are no formal plans for a restoration of the armory building. And if it were to happen, most of the alterations would fortunately be something like restoring the lobby stairwell to the second floor. Relatively straightforward. There would be a small number of things that would remain, like the wheelchair ramp on the north end of the building and the geothermal station. But these don't negatively affect the building and wouldn't really affect the restoration. If the building were to be restored, it would most likely be restored to the period of its greatest significance, which in this case would be its World War II state. So it's an interesting consideration, and it is something that gets kicked around every once in a while. I'd like to thank you for your time. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.